You know when you and I are going to Jannah, listen to the mercy of Allah. Notice how I said when we're going to Jannah without even doubting. Inshallah we're going. Say Amin. There's a scale. There's a scale of justice. Allah says we put the good on one side, we put the bad on the other side. If you have more good than bad, we'll ignore the bad you can carry on. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Sounds like 5149, right? Allahu Akbar, may Allah make it easy. You and I don't realize that's the mercy of Allah. He didn't say you're never going to commit sin. He knows you and I are going to commit sin. But are you a bad person? Are you predominantly an evil person? Inshallah, no, I will not. I try. I have my flaws. I seek forgiveness. I'm not proud to go to someone and say, please forgive me, my brother. Things you may know, you may not know. Forgive me. You know, there is retail and wholesale. Sometimes you're too embarrassed to go to someone and say, I did this. I did this. Forgive me. Go for wholesale. My brother, forgive me. Whatever's happened, just forgive me. You know, let's start a new leaf. They say, okay. But if they knew the details, they might have said, hey, retail is a bit more in price. You know, wholesale is cheaper. So basically, it's good to just seek, forgive brother, forgive me, please, you know, may Allah forgive you, and so on. In South Africa, they have, even here, they have a statement, they hug you and they say, maaf, maaf, you know, maaf. And you wonder, what's maaf? Now you know what maaf is. Maaf means, listen, just wipe it out, it's okay. So they believe, and people do believe, when someone says maaf as they're hugging you, and you say maaf, it means everything's wiped out. Allah knows best. Rather be a bit more sincere and say, brother, forgive me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. I have stood on the pulpit and I'm standing again saying, my beloved brothers, my sisters, be you here or elsewhere. Those who may hear this later, if I have wronged you in any way, shape or form, inshallah, it's not intentional. And if you, if it were something that hurt you, forgive me, forgive me for genuinely, we try our best to be as positive and as genuine as possible. We may not be able to give some people time or something the way they want it. We are human. We are weak. We also have weaknesses, but generally let's forgive each other. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness and help us to uplift and uphold justice, goodness, fairness. Every week in the khutbah we hear in Allah Allah instructs you to be fair, to be kind and good. And Allah Almighty instructs you to maintain family relations. He's the one who chose your family members. He knows why. Some of them are tough to get on with. He knows it. You navigate through it, inshallah, with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah not make us the tough ones. May Allah make us those who are a little bit more easygoing. That doesn't mean you forego the justice. In fact, I end on the note where I say, mark the words of the verse very carefully. Allah says, Allah instructs you to be just and kind because justice always comes before kindness. You can't use the excuse of be kind, be kind, be kind to oppress people and expect them. Don't worry, just forgive them. No, there's a limit beyond which, listen, I need my right. You owe me a million bucks. I'll be kind to you, but I need my million. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease.